Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to this week's episode of Do You Cook English? We have prepared a great recipe for you here. This is a French pear tart and is something which I haven't ever made before. It is, however, something that I have tasted often enough, so before we go any further, let's take a quick look at the grammar rule. Today the grammar rule, as you probably will already have guessed, is the present perfect, but without a specific date. The present perfect. The present perfect is often employed in English. In fact, there are four scenarios where we use this tense. Today we will explain the present tense when used with an action not dated in the past. The present perfect. Action not dated in the past. We use this when an action is not dated in the past, when it is not important to know the date, or when you continue in the present. For example, I have prepared a good cake and now I want you to taste it. The fridge has been filled so I can start cooking. You know that I have done this before. Note, this grammar rule is used very much in English. Well, some of you may have seen our chef Eric in a previous episode. So, bonjour again, Eric. Bonjour, Anna. Yes, you know that I have been here before in an earlier episode. Absolutely, we remember you well, Eric. Okay, so this week we have organised a great dessert for you. So, Eric, a great dessert for you to create for us today. So let's get going and make our pear tart. To prepare the pear tart, here you will see that Eric has lined the pie dish with greaseproof paper and butter, ensuring that the paper sticks well to the tin. Then we have sifted the flour and icing sugar and then we have mixed this with the powdered almonds. Then we have added the lemon juice together with the melted butter and the egg whites. Eric has then poured the mixture into the pie dish and then he has added the sliced pears on top. After, Eric has sprinkled flaked almonds over the pear tart before baking in the oven at 180 degrees centigrade for around 30 minutes. Finally, we have dusted with icing sugar and then served. Well, let's take a look at what Eric has created for us today then. Yes, here we have made a delicious pear tart, which has been the French favourite for many years. I have to say, Eric, it looks absolutely delicious. So, it's been a pleasure working with you, and again, we look forward to seeing you here very soon at Chateau de la Masure. Anyway, until next time, please continue to visit our website. Also, remember we have been updating our Facebook page too. So, until next time on Do You Cook English? Goodbye. Bye.